Last month, Princess Diana's former butler, Paul Burrow, was on the show and he revealed that he has been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Well, to raise awareness, he's very, very keen on this. He invited us to follow his treatment and today, well, it's his first hospital appointment. I'm at the Christie Hospital in Manchester to meet my consultant for the very first time. It's a little bit scary. I'm apprehensive because I don't know what to expect and I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Will this affect me for the rest of my life? I don't know, but today I'm going to find out. I've just been to see the consultant for my brachiotherapy treatment. It's a lot to take in. So I'll go in for a two hour procedure and they will inject radium into my prostate and then recovery. And then for the next three weeks, I'll have to go to radiotherapy appointments. And hopefully at the end of that period, I'll be all clear. This isn't about me, is it? It's about the big picture. It's about my hubby Coop. It's about our relationship, the way forward. So I had to talk about all of that. That's a very important piece of the jigsaw. And I get so emotional because of the hope, because of the hormone therapy, which she said I'll have to continue after the operation. So I'm going to be in a mess for a very long time. But you have to trade off certain things to get to the point of living. As I get ready for treatment, I want to find other men who have been diagnosed to see if they can share their experience and advice. So I've come to Can Survive UK, where they run a support group for men with cancer, providing a space to talk and help one another. Maurice, nice Winston, Paul, it's good, it's good to, to be here. You. It's nice to meet you. I wish it were in better circumstances, but you've both been there already. I haven't been there yet, and I'm a little bit nervous about what's to come. So tell me what's in store for me. So you're getting brachytherapy too? I am. OK. Yes. I had that. It's been, I would say, one of the best treatments that I have ever had. Mm -hmm. The most important part after the procedure was the afters. Mm -hmm. So for the first, say, five months or six months, I stayed in my house and then I was told about Can Survive. You need to be around other people that have gone through similar things. It's a roller coaster, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. of discovery and emotion, yeah, yeah. and you don't quite know where you're going to go next until you get to the end. That's correct. And you're telling me the end isn't as bad. Paul, I can't stress this enough. Half the battle is mm. here. And what's important is to talk about it, to make people aware of it, mm -hmm. and to make people aware that in the black community, one in four men will get prostate cancer. So why is it that men aren't talking about this and going to the doctors? Um, I think there's a stigma of embarrassment more than anything else. And um, being brought up within the Caribbean community, we, we were always kind of taught that men are supposed to be strong and not really talk about things. And I think that's part of the problem is that we're not taught to share and open. As we all know, a problem shared is a problem halved. Mm. I could have been one. Yeah, that's perfect. That. Well, we're going to continue, obviously, to follow Paul. He's, in fact, having his surgery today, so we're wishing, wishing him all the best. Now, of course, you can head to our website for more information on prostate cancer. But please, please, if you get any problems at all, you think something's not quite right, please go to the doctor.